guys and welcome to my channel my name is Deborah you already know that you are watching simply Deborah well I hope everybody is having a fantastic Monday today guys we are in the kitchen and no I am not cooking but Mr. C is Mr. C is Mr. Crowder he is preparing us our Monday night meal I'm getting ready to say Sunday but our Monday night meal so I am not gonna doing it talking I'm just gonna turn the camera around and he's gonna tell you guys what he's doing what magic he is working up in the kitchen so I am in for a treat tonight it is always a treat when somebody else can cook for you right yes so I am gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and he is gonna let you guys know what he is doing give me a second hello ladies and gentlemen hi Big Will, and tonight I'm going to be sharing with you a special dish that I was going to be preparing for tonight. Tonight we are having stuffed chicken with asparagus. I'm going to show you all the different ingredients that we're going to be putting in. I hope my wife get over here and zoom in on the uh, luscious bell peppers, green, red, and onions. And to top this dish off, we're going to base it with the golden mushroom. So stay along with me while we do this here thing. And also on the chicken, if she want to get it in again, what we did, we seasoned the chicken, split the chicken breast in half, and stuffed it with as asparagus. So on each side. And the seasoning we use is black pepper and seasoning salt. So without further ado, let's put, us, let's put this all together. So we're going to take some green peppers. You want to open up the chicken and show him where the asparagus, how the asparagus is looking. He got quite a few bit of asparagus, which I love asparagus, guys. He just put that right over in there. Oh, mm. Okay. Come on, let me add this uh, bell pepper. What we're going to do is put it around the sides, guys. Put it around the sides. I know it's gonna make your mouth watery because mine's is already watery. Then we're gonna take some red bell peppers and sprinkle those along the sides with them as well. I know you see it all coming together already. Red and green makes a really pretty color together. Crowder, hey, if you have something to say, by all means, jump in. Be letting me to play while you're prepping it. Yep. Right here. Okay, now we put in the grand finale on this. Well, we got one more thing we need to put on about the onions. Oh, you want to bring out the flavors? Let's spread them out right over the chicken. You know, onions just brings out the flavor in food. I hope I'm not going too fast because it's a little late and my wife said we are eating late tonight. So I'm just trying to speed up the process. Now while you got a good look at it, um, right now I am going to top this off with some golden mushroom. This stuff is great for cooking guys. And what you want to do is you just want to spread it over the chicken. Make sure you rinse off these lids when you buy these cans. You get them from the grocery store. Make sure you rinse them off. Don't no bacteria or anything be passed on to your food. Because I, I rinsed the whole entire can, guys. So just to let you know. I did that right before uh, we came on. So what you want to take, put it around the sides on two vegetables. Get 
can, one or two cans, baby. I would say one can, but I know you like it a lot. No, 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 one can is great. I'm gonna take it just a little bit out of there. Okay guys, we already got the stove. We have preheated to 400 degrees. Right now, I'm gonna get some aluminum foil. I'm gonna cover this right up. Give me one second. So we're gonna cover this right on up. I'm gonna pop all of it. Just wanna make sure you catch it, capture all of the steam inside of it. So you don't want all of that to escape. So don't punch any holes in the room with foil. What you're gonna do is take it, put it right in the oven. Ready? Man. Call of me. Can't wait till you guys see the finished product. And for a side item, we're gonna have rice. So, so um, at what temperature are you cooking your chicken in at for how long? We're going to be at 400 degrees for about, I said, 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, you let them know we'll be right back. Yeah. I'll be right back after this. I'm going to show you how magic works. After the finished product comes out. Right. Okay guys, so he have it in the oven. So he said it's gonna take about 30, 40, maybe 45 minutes before it get all the way done. And then he has paired that, he will be pairing that up with some rice. So I am excited, I'm ready for it. And I will come back on when it's all done. And I'll be back guys, bye bye. Hey guys, so we are back. My husband has finished his meal. So I am just gonna turn the camera around and allow him to show you guys. Oh, I'm so close, get back. I'm gonna show you guys what he done. Hold on one second. Hello everybody, we're back with the finished product. I want you to take a look at this golden brown chicken. You remember how it looked when you first got started? This, this is the finished product. So this is what we're gonna do. This ladies first, so I'm gonna take the wives. Wanna hold your plate over here? Oh, also baby, get a shot of your rice. And this is the finished rice that we have. She has the broccoli uh, flavor rice and I have the chicken flavor rice with spices and carrots. I'm gonna hold your plate over here. Wanna do mine for me, sweetheart? Would you like to I'm gonna do some, uh, do some of these vegetables over there? Put it right on the side. Okay. Oh man, it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Move that red one over there. You want some more? Alright guys, what do you think? Please comment down below. It's my wife's plate, Simply Deborah, her channel. And we were just gonna throw in some rolls, guys. Kings, Hawaiian rolls. Were we eating? Yes. Okay. Eating. So give us a second, let us come give us a second. Alright, give us a second. And we'll be right back. And we'll be right back. She's coaching me along with y'all tonight. You know, it's all about what the ladies want to do. It's my head cut off, y'all. Okay, guys, we are back. 
we are back and my husband is going to say a little prayer real quick for us before we get started father lord and savior jesus christ we come before you as humble as we know how we like to thank you for the food that was prepared that was prepared to nourish our body father god we actually bless our whole entire family yes lord. keep us with our health and our strength yes also, Father, watch over us. Keep us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Yes, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, in amen. In the mighty name, amen. Okay, guys, so get our thumbnail out real quick. Okay, let's show us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Done. Okay, so we're going to dig right in, guys. Yeah. I'm going to start in with the rice. I'm starting with this chicken. It's always, like I said, enjoyable when someone else is cooking for you. So just the mere fact that he cooked it, it's good. Dig right in here and try some of this chicken with the stuff, with the stuff with asparagus. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Guys, I wanted to show you all the chicken with the asparagus. I don't know about y'all, but with me, I cannot put a lot of food in my mouth. I have to have small amounts. <laughs> What do you think? It's alright. Mm. It's really good. Mm. It's good. Did you make sure you get some of the vegetables in there? Mm -hmm. My husband is kind of light-handed when it comes to seasoning salt because <laughs> health reasons, but I like a little bit more seasoning on it. I didn't want to make it salty. I think I needed some more. Maybe just a tad bit. I could have did for just an inch more. Mm. I gotta remember that when I'm cooking for you as well instead mm -hmm. of just me. I'm sorry guys, I just I don't like to do a lot of the salt stuff now. Getting much much older now. So I'll try to make sure we lay off the salt. Remember the vegetables are good for you. It's really good. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do now? So we can get up there and finish off our, uh, our food. Anything else? Set up. <laughs> Guys, today I had a very, very, very busy day. I woke up this morning, forgot I had a doctor's appointment. I had to rush for that. And as I was showing my other videos, y'all know my car got hit, so I've been dealing with the claim insurance office with that. And went grocery shopping today. What else did we do? We went to two different grocery stores. I think time got away from us today. We had it all planned out this 
we was gonna do what we were gonna do. But I don't know why you can plan something, but sometimes it just don't don't go according to your plan. Yeah, that's right. And then you turn around and forgot that you had to get your clothes out the cleaners. Came all the way home, getting ready to put the car in the garage and realize my clothes are in the cleaners. I have to go back out to get those. For today to be a Monday, my relaxed day, it was anything but relaxed. Hmm. And for my doctor's appointment, I have to get my pacemaker tuned up. Or not tuned up, but checked. Hmm. And I hate when they mess with it because it throws my whole body off. And thank God I only have that appointment once a year. You just making it sound like you was going in for a tune-up. Like you said, get it tuned up like you're doing it to the mechanic shop. Yeah, I got to go get a tune-up. That's what it felt like. Because they have to test it, put it through these tests. And when they do it, you can feel it within the inside of your body the worst but you can't do it like a champ I wish you could just go and they look at it and be like it's good right. you're good to go see you next year they got to run all these tests and then got to put it back to the settings that it was originally at I'm like did you make sure that you had it at the original setting she was like yes this was my first time getting the lady that I got the nurse I usually like this one lady. She's been seeing me since I've had it in. But she was like, we alternate. I'm like, I don't want to alternate. When you get used to somebody, that's who you want. Like at my nail shop, I got one person. And that's it. That's all. Two weeks ago, I went to her. And because I was like 10 minutes late. They put her with somebody else. I was pissed. I get in there. She's like, well, you're 10 minutes late. I'm like, okay, and I've been late before. Well, she's doing somebody else nails now. I'm like, really, y'all? That's how y'all gonna play me after I come and spend $100 in here every two weeks? I was so mad. Well, so nails cost now these days? And she was like, so the girl that normally does mine, she has my number. And she was texting me I was as I was in there. And she was like, I'm so sorry, Deborah. She was like, but my husband can take you. I hate men working on me. OMG, that is the biggest pet peeve I have. I don't know why. If y'all are like that, comment down below and let me know. I hate a man to work on me. I hate a man as a gyne. I hate a man. Don't say hate. How about? I just don't like men touching me like that. I understand. Okay. And it just like send chills I'm through my body. I'm just instead of using the word hate, I hate. But I just like it. I don't like it. So mm -hmm. other than not liking it, it is a... I cannot stand it. I don't like a man, Gynie. I don't like a man to do my pedicure. I don't like a man to do my hair. I don't want a man to touch me with any of that. Nope. What? I know. I just don't. I prefer a lady to give me my pedicure. It seems like she's more delicate with me. Seems like the man's are more rougher. Cause her husband last week, I had no choice but to get him. And as he was doing my nails, I knew. I was like, normally when I go get my nails did, they last the whole two weeks. No chipping, no breaking, no nothing. Unless an I do something on my end. I swear to God. Those two weeks rolled around, my nails was looking a hot tail mess. I was like, really? Never again. If she's not available, I just have to come back when she is. I'm like, I spent too much money. Mm -mm. So she was able to do them for me on Friday. And I like I have a relationship with her because when she's not there, 
on the Fridays that I'm due to be there, she'll text me and she'll be like, Deborah, I wasn't feeling well, so I'm not there today. And I know not to waste my time and go up there. She was like, call to make an appointment tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I was like, okay. So we have a good relationship with one another. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I'm just wondering if you're gonna hit me with the dishes tonight. <laughs> mm. The one that cooks is the one that cleans up, right? Uh, I help you. What? I don't. No. I gotta swore I do. Oh my god. I don't have to be clean. No. I just leave you hang. Yes, you eat and you get up and you move on. No, that's not true. Oh my god. That's not true. Hey, I just cooked last week. When did you clean up? When you cook. What did you clean up? I used the air fryer both nights or two nights last week. I made chicken. I didn't help you clean up after no. you did this. Cause I you cleaned it up. Not by yourself? Well, I didn't. Because I was helping you. <laughs> he must was helping in his head. He must was thinking, oh, let me get up anytime now from watching MSNBC to help my wife. Oh, that's cool. And it never happened. <laughs> mm, that's mm, 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 mm. I'm full. I don't know about you. Man, y'all, my allergies been bothering me, so my head been lightheaded. I'm like. But y'all, this has been real good. Because we got to go. <laughs> we do. So, you got anything else you want to say to mm -mm. Clean up time. Clean up on aisle nine. Thank God he's the first one finished so he can start cleaning up. But y'all, we are going to go ahead and close out. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video of my husband preparing dinner tonight. It is absolutely fantastic. I am enjoying it. It is so good. And But my expertise are on the grill. So this summer, look out. My next step after this is the tub and the bed. Because sister girl got work in the morning. Mm. Me too. You really not going to help me clean up? Yeah, I'm going to help you, babe. Come on, man. No, she ain't saying with too much convincing. Okay, guys. So, dinner was great. I hope y'all have enjoyed us. Um, if you are new to our channel, if you can do me a favor, go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button right down below and become part of the family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. What are you waiting for? You guys keep coming back. If my views match my subscribers i will be woohoo so i know y'all watching all y'all gotta do is just click it ain't gonna cost you not a dime it don't even cost you a penny i'm full but you still talking you're gonna make me eat the rest of this chicken nope i'm just making them trying to get them to convince mm -hmm. them to subscribe see y'all he finished and i'm still asking y'all to subscribe so go ahead and subscribe so i can let him go Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Become a part of the family. What are you waiting for? We're waiting on you. Um, and if you are returning, hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. Y'all already know I love y'all. Yes, I do. And guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Until then, love and happiness. Until next time, salute. Peace. See y'all. Bye-bye. What you think? What about the dinner? It was good. It just needed a little bit more seasoning. I told you you should have, when you opened it up, you should have seasoned in the inside of it.